All right, welcome back to Starbound, everybody. I am your host, Monster Gods, and we are continuing right where we left off. Um, we are exploring the underground currently. That's actually not what we're doing. We're actually leaving the underground now, but we were exploring the underground. Um, we found many useful items. Uh, oh, not items, I should say. We found the ore, which is what we were down here for in the first place. So, um... What I'm doing now is I'm actually just doing a quick scan just to see because I actually want to find a little bit more of the blue ore because I just like the blue ore and I like the color of the items and I might use it for um, the cosmetic pieces even if I don't like the actual armor set for the stats I might use it for the um, cosmetics maybe if I like it I don't really remember what it looks like off the top of my head, but I, I know I like the colors better. Which, now that I think about it, I wonder if I can color armor. I think there's dyes, now that I think about it. Hmm. I haven't actually messed with the dyes at all now that I'm thinking about it, and maybe I should be. Maybe I could, like, dye my armor, like, cool colors. Uh-oh. Solarium. Okay. All right, we're not going to worry about going down anymore. We are actually going to go towards the surface. Actually, I think I'm at the surface basically, which is good. Um, so these planets do not require you to go down too far to actually get anywhere useful, which I like. That's part of the reason why I like this planet. Um, what I'm wondering is if any material we can make can actually withstand a meteorite blow. So like if I make um, like a Dura-Steel... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. If I make a Dura-Steel wall, can that withstand the pressure of a meteorite? Um, I'm not saying dura steel, for instance, can, but like, what about other materials? Um, I think dura steel is probably one of the stronger ones, at least from what we just kind of generally know. But we do have like the advanced stuff now, so we might be able to make something unique. And if we can, I'd like to know about it because I would like to build on the surface of this planet. Like, I like the whole scorched earth thing. Oh, geez, this is ridiculous. It's like the sand all over again. Okay, it looks like we're good. Um, I might actually head up to my ship quick like to drop this stuff off and then head down. But I'm thinking... Oh my god, what is that thing? Uh... Shit. Some of, these men, some of these monsters are just crazy looking. Like, I don't even know how to like handle them. Okay. Um. What the fuck is that thing? Okay. So we're gonna call it good right here. Head up to the ship currently. I'm not gonna actually call it good for the entire episode. I'm just calling it good for dealing with those guys because those guys are gonna wreck me. Uh, let's head. What'd that say? I don't even know. Um, solarium. Yeah, Jesus, I can make a lot. So we're gonna do 50. 50. <clears throat> um, I like that everything just requires two. It's a good way to do it. I think before, some of the stuff required like four or six ores, which to me is just a little extreme. Um, I mean, like, what, what are you honestly gonna do? Like, it's a lot of freaking mining just for, like, one bar. And it's just not worth it. So, Universalists, that's not what we need. We need the green, correct? Yes, green. Uh, yep. The thing or the thing right here. Yep. 
And then we're going to pop that on there. I wish they just let you have all three of them on at once. Here we go. We can upgrade our stuff to this set. I think we're just going to go ahead and do that. Seekers trousers. All right, it's <laughs> my guy is naked. Okay, so yeah, so our base stats start off at 100, so that's kind of good to know. I did not know that. 100 all the way across the board. All right, so 160, 250. I think we had more before. No, it was 350 for there. So 250. All right. So now, with that being said, I wonder, can dyes be used on? Yep, applied to a piece of armor. So let's take a look here. Can I dye my clothes? Oh, it's hoping for like a turquoise. Because I like turquoise. That's okay. Um, I guess. So empty bottles. I just need some empty bottles. I'm gonna make. I don't have any glass. Do I have any glass over here? Could have just made some glass, but um, glass looks pretty. I have one piece. It's not gonna be enough to make a bottle. Or is it? No, it's not. You need two glass. <laughs> so sand. We need sand. So this is gonna be a weird episode. My episode is going to. This episode is gonna consist of dyeing our armor. Which is alright. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Spending a little time dyeing our clothes a different color. I'm not a fan of blue. I just like this blue, especially. Um, I was really hoping for, like, this kind of stuff. Like the tealish turquoise. That's what I want. But obviously, they're not giving that to me. Because that's, like, the other armor's color. Which is why I was thinking about actually crafting the other armor, because if it's that color, I might as well just do that. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's actually go take a take a look at the other the other suits of armor, because maybe it actually makes sense just to use that as the um. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Um, right there. Cause I mean, it's honestly like, what else am I gonna do with it? Uh, how does it look? It doesn't look that bad either, actually. Hmm. It's not terrible looking. That's for sure. How about the other thing? So I have the. I have the ranged, so let's take a look at the melee. Maybe the melee looks cool. Universalist, all this like the high end stuff. It's purple, the purple looks kind of cool. See, no, all this is purple. See, that makes sense. I don't know why they changed it for mine. Like I'm wearing blue now for some reason. Whatever. Oh damn it! I forgot to make bottles. No, don't follow me. Uh, bottle. Empty bottle. Let's make like five of them. Okay. And we will do. If three pieces of die, we will click on the die. Um. Probably need it off. This color die can be applied to a piece of armor or clothing with a right click. And I did that like three times and then it just finally decided to work one time. Okay. Fine. Doubt me. There we go. Now my guy looks pretty awesome. Okay. Cool. 
That looks pretty rockin'. We are definitely powerful now. We have a little bit of everything. Um, I think we need... Hmm. I'm just trying to think if there's a way that I can actually get better weapons. That's actually what I've been trying to think about for a little while. And I can't think of a good way to do it other than actually just traversing the planet. Um, the problem with that is that we are starting to... Um, we're starting to run into more hostile people. Uh, or people that don't have any like vendor capabilities. So without having like a vendor that's actually going to give us uh, you know, a high tier quality item, we're very limited. Oh, and as I was saying before, I was actually thinking about moving my entire colony. So I mean, like, I'm quite literally talking about like destroying this entire place, item-wise. I would leave the structures probably, and I might leave a handful of villagers here, like, because like there'd be the ones that don't have the colony deeds, the ones that are just like friends of people. I'd leave them here, and then I might leave like these ones here. And then, I like maybe these, but like all the stuff over there I would remove because I think I might want to make a really big colony on one of the more dangerous planets. Uh, or my other idea was to increase the size of my ice base by quite a lot. Um, like just spend like a couple episodes just hardcore pounding that out and making that look awesome. And then going down and maybe like living on the planet down there. Um, these are just ideas. I don't have any set plans yet, but it was an idea that I had because I know that they give you stuff. So, oh, 36. How many do I need for an um, upgrade? 32. So, power. Do I want power or size? I feel like I should just save up for the size. Let's see, 4x4 four four with more power or 5x5 five five with less power. You know what? We're going to go with... We're going to go with power. I think the increased speed is going to help us a little bit more currently. Um, that being said, let's head down to the Earth, the planet. Okay, um, that's not what I meant to do. Actually, I have the fucking grappling hook. Why am I not using the grappling hook? keep forgetting about it. It's down here. Uh, a trap? Damn it. Stupid light. Stupid sensor. Damn it. Oil? That's new. I don't think I've gotten oil yet on here. Oh, that's like the same as the tar bullshit. Oh, that's annoying. Let me just close that. I don't want to deal with that shit. What's this stuff? Junk pile? <laughs> that's kind of cool. What is this? Deadbeat horn mask? Stylish TV? Heck yeah. Headbeat trousers, this is awesome. Okay, so we just got a bunch of chests in a row, I'll take it. Uh, what do we got here? The random axe, some solo okay, 12 solarium ore. Can't complain, I guess. Just, I keep getting stuck on that, Jesus. Okay, um... Okay. Um... So that's a thing. What now, you stupid thing?
Fucking, what is that? So creepy. Um, we're just gonna keep going this way. What do we got here? Broken utility box. We got nothing. A whole bunch of nothing. What kind of metal actually is this? Iron block. It's good to know. It's kind of cool looking. You know, I didn't even think about that. I could have made shit. You guys want to be friends? They do not look like they want to be friends, probably. What if I jump up here? Will they attack me? Hey guys. Nope, they pulled a gun. Actually, this would be a good time for those freaking spells. Let's see how they work. So we got this one. Hmm. Oh, that is a really lame spell. That is, like, really fucking weak. Poison Bouncer. Okay. Note to self. Don't waste your time with that. Wow, spells are really weak. Like, you think spells would be, like, awesome. Because, you know, the guns freaking wreck everything. You think spells would be like, a little bit more powerful to make up for the fact that, like, you could charge them. But nope. Spells are kind of garbage. Which makes me sad, because they're pretty cool. I think they have, like, really good I think they have really good ideas and good abilities. They're just not powerful enough. Hey friend. Mm -hmm. I think you're probably my favorite. Yeah, I like you too, buddy. What is this? Rocket burst? What the fuck? I, I gotta try this thing now. Alright. So, rocket burst, huh? Whoa! Alright, let's see what this is like. 176 damage? Jesus! Okay, so... When I was talking about needing to find better weapons, I found it. Hello. Stop that. Stop it. Like, dude, it's super unnecessary to attack me. I am your friend. I want to help you. I want to work with you. Repulsion zone? I wish that would just open up over there every single time. Like, come on. So, cool little snow cloud. Okay. Ooh, this is interesting. Very interesting, actually. That's a staff, so we're gonna go with that. That lasts for a while, too, actually. Interesting, interesting. So, so far, my plan is working. I have found several items, weapons specifically, that are actually on par with what I want to upgrade. So, thinking we are going to bypass some of this stuff. Because. Copper, wreck vent. No other weapons. Nothing else special. Nope. Calling it good. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, switch. Oh, a little switch. Oh, there isn't even a way down, so it's a good thing I dug down where I did. It's pretty much the only place I really could go. Yeah. 
So I don't know if there's a way that I can actually like determine if like a building can handle. It's okay. Okay, so all these guys seem like good guys. Oh, sweet. Okay. So I shot that one bird for absolutely no reason. Dick. Yeah. <laughs> like I can just blow myself up. Like, I mean, I'm glad that I can't kill myself, because that would fucking suck, honestly. Um... Damn it. Oh, thank god. Eh... Oh, I was waiting to just blow up, honestly. Okay. So I like the ruins. I definitely like the ruins. You guys both friendly? Okay. So what happens if I put that there? Oh! It pushes stuff out of it. So can I shoot into it? Hmm. Ow. I just wanted to see how much damage it did. Didn't want to be lit on fire. Jerks. So the staff might be really cool, actually. Oh shit, what do we got here? We got a deadbeat guy, so perhaps he's friendly. Ow. The deadbeat guys don't seem to be aggressive, so... Um... As weird as this is, I want this guy's stuff. He has really cool, like, afterworld stuff, so. Like, not afterworld, I don't know why I said that. It's not even the right word at all. What is that? Um, another grenade launcher. Man, this game really likes grenade launchers. For some reason, I didn't collect those down there. Or that. Weird. So, oh, I'm supposed to be scanning stuff. That's what I meant to be doing. Shit, I'm dumb. You scan it to be able to make it. That's what it is. Telephone pole. Hey, buddy. It's been a long day. I need a hug. Aw, I'll give you a hug. Ooh. Ooh. We got a full-on fallout shelter down there. Um... So let's see what we got down here. Can I throw up a... torch? I need to put torches... on that bar. Damn it, did not need two. Okay, so... Ooh, damn. Damn it! Okay, let's scan this stuff. Okay, scanning is cool. Got some stuff. Some other stuff. Is that a shelf? Cool, the shelf can actually be used as, like, um, a storage place. Which, you know, it sounds kind of common sense, but it's, it's not exactly. It's pretty rare. Um, so, no, no. Yeah. This can be rigged with an explosive. Damn it! Uh, wrong bar. Missed. Stealing your park benches. It's gonna make him mad. Nope, you didn't get mad. Works for me. Alright. Ooh, that's a different utility pole. 
Ooh, what do we got here? Compound of some sort? Uh. Uh. Yeah, so that meteorite hits us and like, it's iron and it just breaks, so. Iron is not protected. And actually, it just seems to destroy everything. Oh, actually, no, it dropped it. Okay. That's good to know, at least. Oh. I'm just worried what it's going to do if it hits me. Hey, what is that? Armor? Dead beat leather jacket? Okay. Please don't blow me up. I kind of want to get hit with one and see how much damage it does, though. I'm curious now. Because you think you'd have to do, like, some decent damage. If he's able to just go right through an iron block, but you never know. Maybe the iron block is actually quite a bit weaker than we think. After all, it is just iron, so... Um... I'm actually gonna do... One of these things, because I want to see if... Any of it's new. I don't think it is. But, just in case it is... There. Alright, um... These planets do not seem like they are worth... Trying to fight at daytime or nighttime in so yeah what's that two one what is that I don't get it must be out of range can't get a reading on it oh so if you destroy the sensor the timer on it, it just stays on. Interesting. Um that? Neo Chakra Blueprint allows you to unlock the... Okay, whatever. Okay... Nope. Okay, I know not to do that. I don't know why I keep doing that. Like, I'm like, ooh, a button, and I have to push it. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna take it just for fun's sake. Oh shit, what is that? Uh please be friendly. Hey guys. Hey. The Minoc are powerful, stronger. You do well to respect us. Yeah, I mean I'm like the mini no I'm like full on your guys aside. What's up, dude? As long as you don't make a scene, you won't get hurt around here. Okay, yeah. So I think. Okay, so let's take a look here. This looks to be a big comp. Yeah, this is a full on apex compound. So we are actually gonna go plant one of our flags over here. Um, this is perfect. This is like perfect, perfect. This is kind of what I was hoping for. I was hoping there'd be some kind of civilization here that I could drop my flag down and call it good. So I'm actually in Oh, I need to interact with it. No! It said I had to interact with it to mark a beacon. Let's see if I do. Oh, let's see if it works. Dang it, I think I'm going to go to some random place. Yep. Yep. Shoot. Okay. Well, we know to the right there's stuff then. That works at least. And I'm sure if we head just that way, we'll get there a pretty reasonable amount of time. Nope, didn't want to put that there. Want to put that there, that there, that there. So I'm up to 10, so I think I can upgrade my ship again. 
if I get enough crewmates, which that might be our next goal. See, that's actually kind of what I was thinking. I want to create a, um, uh, um, what's that called? Damn it. Trying to blank on the name. I want to create a colony in which I basically can recruit people from because I know they're going to be reliable and useful and really good and powerful. That's my goal. Um, sorry, I'm doing the my little trick here. La la la. Okay, seems like we're good. Um, I'm gonna throw some items in here. And after this, I think we might call it an episode. So I'm thinking this might be the planet I kind of want to settle on. Uh, I still have some debating to do, and I might actually take a few minutes outside of playtime to look up to see if there is a way I can defend against those meteors. Because if I can't defend against them, um, I would have to build underground. There's no exception to that. Which I'm not 100% opposed to, but I think I would rather not do that. Like... I would like there to be an option to build above ground somehow. And what really got me curious is the fact that the other people seem to have a base up there. So if places don't get destroyed while I'm not on there, that's fine and all. But like if I show up at some random point in time, I don't want their base to start getting wrecked because of me being there. So my hope is that there is a way to defend against um the random blowy up stuff. So actually I'm gonna do this quick like while we're on screen. Actually, I got a 5,000 one too. So what we'll do is I'm starting to get a decent amount of pixels. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been, now that I finally realized that I can actually do this, um, I can save pixels. So that's kind of what I've been wanting since day one is being able to save my pixels. Cause like I'm already up to 20,000 just saved in the bank. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, when we come back next time, I might have done some research on the meteorite thing to see if I can handle, like if I can put up some kind of barrier against it. Um, if not, um, we'll figure something else out. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you liked the episode, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.